First of all, thanks everyone for coming out. I'm glad I could give this presentation to you all. I really enjoyed my experience at One Million Cups so far and look forward to returning. I'm JJ Wickman and I'm with the Trading Post. So the inspiration behind the Trading Post and my journey in the stock market began when I was 15 years old. I watched a Warren Buffett documentary and he actually saved his money from his paper routes. And we all know his story, he ended up becoming a billionaire major philanthropist, does really a lot of good for our country. So when I was that age, I asked myself, what can I be doing uh, to maybe become Warren someday? So I started, uh, I started um, mowing lawns and then plowing driveways in order to save money at a young age. So then when I turned um, 18 years old, I got my first trading account. And then last year, I competed in the United States Investment Championship which is the only worldwide investing championship. There were 400 competitors, and I was the youngest one in the field. Unfortunately, I didn't win it, but I finished break even, and the market was down double digits last year. So I was pretty proud, considering I maintained all my previous year's gains um, when the market was down. And this is my co-trader, Presley. It's my dog. So, and this is my setup. Every morning, you'll catch me on the screens. And this is a little uh, performance background of my actually trading results. And all these results are in an account above $30,000. So it's not a few hundred that I'm throwing here and there. This is, I'm trading like a real book. So uh, the first two years, 2020 and 21, were very hot. And quite frankly, it wasn't that hard to achieve outperformance. But I was most proud of this year. When the market was down double digits, like I mentioned, I was able to maintain all my gains from these two years into what shows a, a clear outperformance versus the broad market and my, my stock trading. So this leads to the problem. When I was a sophomore and I came to the University of Iowa, I started to notice a significant growing problem of financial illiteracy in young adults, whether it be personal finance or even getting into the stock market. And this wasn't just me. According to a study by annuity.org with thousands of high schoolers um, countrywide, found that 86% of high schoolers were interested in the market, yet 75% never began because they were too intimidated or they didn't have the proper resources. And to add to this, throughout my 25 customer discovery interviews uh, this spring and summer, I've found that the vast majority, even adults and middle-aged people, they're still very unsure and not confident, yet they still have the interest to begin. And the feedback I've gathered is that these people prefer videos and visuals. Hearing a voice and actually seeing a screen helps them follow along rather than reading through a book that's got lots of big vocabulary and it's hard to understand. And they also like analogies and easy to understand language so you can break that down and do an easy to understand um, context and then also how can they apply what I'm teaching into their own trading. And that's where the trading post comes in. So the first of our services is our discord community. We have 20 monthly users and throughout the discord we're actively chatting about the market so I'm updating the community on um, the market commentary, as well as providing the leading stock setups. Um, one of the biggest things, my competition, is they'll find the leading stocks, but they won't alert their clients ahead of time. So what good is that information if they can't act on the opportunity? And that's what the Discord community allows them. And then finally, like I was mentioning, is videos and the educational resources. And this is actually a screenshot of what our Discord looks like. So each night I'll send my top stocks and then I'll record a one minute video with the key price levels so they can understand why I selected this stock and what I um, might like to do with it the following day. The second service we offer is our Portfolio Pulse Daily Market Newsletter. And this is a stock market newsletter that's geared towards 
investors or traders or people that just like to stay up to date with the economy. And we provide a market summary, which you can see with the indexes with the green color code. The current economic events, just a brief few paragraphs on what happened. The benefits are it's really short and easy to digest. It's not only going to take you a few minutes each day. And then finally, it's unbiased and it's non-political. So we, we do report on political events, but it's just the facts. There's no side. We're not pushing any agenda because no one cares about my opinions. So we just keep that out of there. And then this is the bottom of the newsletter. We feature a book of the day, which is geared towards stock trading with a little summary and a hyperlink if um, readers were interested, as well as a quote of the day. Um, and usually I like to find old mentors or people I look up, looked up to, find a good quote from them and just throw that in there. The customer demographics the trading post is targeting is young adults, whether that be upperclassmen in high school, they're just of age 18, they can trade or get started in the market, all the way up into middle-aged adults. So when it comes to the college students, I'm targeting business, medical, law, and engineering, because usually these majors, the principles they're learning uh, cross over very much to trading, so they often have a head start if, they, uh, if they're provided the proper guidance. And the competitive advantages the trading post holds against our competition is really that we can get more in depth and personal with our clients. Our competition, very big, they're usually based in Wall Street, so they're dealing with lots and lots of money. Um, they don't offer the market commentary except for investors. And that comes in an ad, it's got ads everywhere. It's just not a clean, clean look. The interactive feedback is where we really take the hold is that we can talk to members each day if they have questions we can get back to them in a timely manner and really just stay in constant communication the risk management when it comes to trading it's key you need to know how much you're risking if you ever have hopes of staying in the game and achieving outperformance that's something i pride the trading post on is that many of our competitors don't stress risk management to their clients. Everyone has technical analysis, which is the charts of the price. But lastly, we actually go in depth on the trading psychology and the mindset behind trading, which is what a lot of our competition lacks as well. The core values of the trading posts are first and foremost empowerment. We want to empower young individuals, enable them to achieve their full potential. And quality, we strive to exceed expectations with all the products and services we're providing to our clients. And then finally, sustainability, is we want to embrace sustainable practices that will allow for our future generations to prosper. For the end of year, some of the goals the Trading Post has is to publish an online personal finance course, which would be very starter, and this would be more geared towards savings, budgeting, deposits, rather than getting in depth from the trading, which would be right here. This would be an intro to the stock market for people who want to get a little more specialized. I'd also like to begin a seminar series where we can actually get into person, because it's great to see videos online, but if you can actually see them face to face, I think that adds a lot of value. And then finally, we'd like to grow the Discord community to over 100 monthly average users. And then finally, it's a go. We're really bullish on this. We see that there's untapped profit potential in Iowa City because there's a lack of competition or services that provide this kind of education. And then as we've seen, financial literacy is a very big growing problem as cited through my customer discovery and the annuity study. And then finally, we have clear competitive advantages against our competition. The fact that we can get in depth and then also offer a personalized stock trading plan for our clients. And then this is what our website looks like now. This is the home page. We've got our tabs so you can actually click on each of these up top and then it'll take you to a, a a page that's more dedicated towards that. 
And then these are some of our past clients uh, with testimonials. And then this is the Discord community, which you'd see uh, if you were to go to the website. And that's my presentation. All right, questions? Okay, I have one to start off with. Fantastic presentation. I think it's super exciting. And with somebody with teenagers, I think that this is something I can, I like to see my son. Like, That's good to know. Uh, for your interactive feedback, mm -hmm. you're 20 users per month right now. Yes. What if that grows to 1,000? How right. does that look? Yes, so if it were to scale at that rate, I would definitely be looking to onboard. Okay. Members. But keeping but, that aspect of it. Yes. Okay. But that's the problem is there's not a lot of expertise in the type of strategy I'm teaching, so I couldn't just like put out an application and expect most people to meet the requirements or the experience I'm looking for. But definitely I'd be looking to grow the team and we see that grow soon. And did I miss it? How are you making money? So the Discord is $15 per month, and that's with our 20 users. And then right now, our newsletter is free, but we're looking for ways to potentially work in advertising, because I'd like it to remain free. That's awesome. Thank you. Do you have like Reels or TikTok or anything where you're kind of yes. sharing this Yes, yeah, so I, I'm active on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and then we actually do post our previous, like the stocks we called out, say last night and then this morning we'll use apple for example say i was looking at apple at a hundred dollars last night it's at 110 today i would include a screenshot of in the time stamp of when i sent that last night and then um, see what apple's done only a day later and then that allows them to see what they're getting and then also that we do have proven results of successful stock picks What's your recommendation? Sorry, guys. Does anybody else have questions? Yeah, you're dominant. Go for it. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm very curious about liability. Do you have to worry about that at all? So I do have a terms of service and a disclaimer, and no one can join um, if they don't meet the 18 years old and if they don't agree to it. So the reason I wanted to get into education is because I don't need any certifications um, to give this advice because technically, it's not educational advice, it's just my opinion, is how you have to state it. But if I were to manage people's money is when I'd start getting into having to take these tests, similar to being an accountant or um, something along those lines, you have your certifications, um, which this doesn't require me to. And I do understand the liability because I'm making recommendations and then people are trading based on that, but I do make it very clear from the start. Have you consulted a lawyer to make sure all of that? Um, I haven't yet, but I've talked with people who do similar things as me, and, and they pretty much gave me like the rundown of the disclaimer in terms of service. But I think that would be beneficial to yeah. still talk to a lawyer. Yes? Can you tell me how you segmented your user base? I know you said like 18 to 35 is your range, and you're looking at like business-minded yes. business majors, medical professionals, and mm -hmm. uh, you had technology as well. Yeah, so I was looking at law, engineering, medicine, business, um, because I was saying usually the elements they're learning, they transfer over into the stock market. And the reason I'm targeting young individuals is because they're the ones who are going to be leading our country forward. And, and really, the biggest advantage in the stock market is time. So I want to stress to them that if they can get started now, it doesn't have to be the biggest amount of money, but anything really counts at a young age. Yeah, I almost wonder if you have two separate user bases, mm -hmm. right? You have the business minded kids who are like high school or college who are really okay. interested in this. Right. Thing. But once you graduate from college, you have these other people who are like on the technology side and healthcare side. They've spent almost zero time taking a business class. That's fair. So they're the ones that are going to start yeah. earning a pretty significant income. Mm -hmm. And maybe they're finding a university and yeah. post college is still pretty level. Yeah, that's a very good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. How do you have, well, first of all, I, I don't, I didn't catch your major, uh, nope. but how do you have time for school? If you're, if you're checking this, and things are it's crazy active depending on the day. Mm -hmm. So if you're checking things at night, you're, um, you're getting 365 quotes every year, you're getting 365 book recommendations every year. Mm -hmm. 
that's a lot for one person. You're right. Uh, and how, how are you going to maintain that? Mm -hmm. um, and at what point will you determine it's time to bring somebody else in? Right, yeah, that's a very good question. So the past three years, I've only missed a handful of market opens. Usually that was from a long weekend beforehand. But I'm, for the most part, very disciplined with my bedtimes and my awakening. And I like to do my research actually in the evening. So that way, when I wake up in the morning, I can just hit the screens and I don't have to go and do an hour or two of research. So that'd be the open. And then based on my class schedule, I try to do a mid-morning class and then mid-afternoon. That way I can actually get home and watch the market close. And then from 3 to 4.30 p.m., um, that's when I'm typing the newsletter. So I've got the process down. Um, actually, the longest thing is uploading what I wrote to send it off. It's not actually the writing and the content generation that takes time. It's more the sending. So I think that's potentially somewhere I could save time. It's, it's, not, a, it's not trading oriented, but anyone can really upload a newsletter. So that's potentially somewhere I could save time down the road. Yes. Great. Thank you. Maybe look into like a marketing intern or some kind of assistant to help with those tasks that aren't you know, right. strong suit. Yeah, so that's funny you bring that up. Sales and marketing is what I don't like. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I could easily offload to someone else mm -hmm. um, based on my business model. So I think as um, we continue growing, that's what I'd uh, ideally like to bring someone on the marketing side on. What's your timeline for creating your educational like platform mm -hmm. content? Yes, yeah, so I I'm currently in the, the works of that personal finance course I uh, listed on for the goals, and it's going to be very comprehensive, and it's gonna I want it to be chronological. So the elements I'm teaching I believe they're in order the order you should learn. Um, oftentimes there's aspects of stock trading that. If you learned when you first entered the market, it's going to go way over your head. So I want to progressively build upon it and, and make sure it's also interactive and they can use historical examples and then also what they're currently doing. Um, that way it applies more rather than just like a textbook. I don't think they take much value from that. So I'd like it to be interactive and then. Yeah, also include videos because um, it will be asynchronous online and once they purchase it one time, it will never go away. It will always be there. So th that's where another benefit is when we take our asynchronous online courses to the university, um, our dashboard just is erased after that semester and we can't touch back and see what we actually went through. So this would stay there on the internet and they'd have access for years to come. You need um, any beta testers or just exposure yes. from the Iowa EdTech Collaborative. So okay. that would be a good medium. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Beta testers, uh, market it. Mm -hmm. uh, so That'd be great. Connect after. Yes, I'd love to. Thank you. And have you done any student events on campus to for engagement? I haven't yet, but when school resumes, I plan on getting into Hawks Trade, which is like the stock market based club. So I'd like to get in there, and, and that's when I was talking about seminars potentially give a seminar to one of those clubs. And then uh, Leslie Flynn, who also teaches an entrepreneurship class, um, she spoke about maybe bringing me in and doing like a one to two day like crash course on the market. So those are some ideas I'm, uh, that are up in the air. Uh, just one other option for you mm -hmm. is that um, the there's an event management certificate program mm -hmm. and they will coordinate an event for you for free. No kidding. And so they're all students. So there okay. might be a capture. They can coordinate and reach out and do all of the marketing. And we've actually found some really good marketing interns. Wow. Okay. From That's, that class. I didn't know about that. So there's a there's several instructors. So yeah, we can find a way to get to that. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to know more. Thank you. Yes. Long term, um, what what do you have planned? Do you want to uh, go to Wall Street or create a mutual fund or? Yeah, for something. So long term, my passion is educating people and I think that's most fulfilling uh, beyond the money. And it's, it's, I'm not in it for the money because I have younger siblings and 
they were like my beta testers. I was trying to get them started. And then my mom's like, well, you wake up for the market every day and you do it if you weren't getting paid. So why not start a business out of this? So I'd like to just teach people and then trade for myself. I don't want to manage money. I think my risk tolerance and time frame is different than clients would be. So it's just easier for me to trade my own money that way. Yes. So you're not planning to retire at 35? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I can uh, golf and trade on my phone. There so you go. I mean, it, yes, <laughs> that's my goal. Yep. Any other questions? Kudos to you for working so hard. I mean, it's amazing to hear about your time schedule and like just how you're so on top of it every morning. And Thank you. So. Good that's, a lot of, that's a lot of discipline. <laughs> that's a lot of discipline. At, 40, at 47, I don't have a time. I know. <laughs> yeah, good work. Well, if, if I slept in only a half hour, it could be pretty uh, costly. So I need to be on top of it. Yes. And I'm going to steal your term, screens. There you screens. go for it. Yes. Thank you. Any other questions? <clears throat> If not, I'll ask our traditional final question. What can we as the community do to help you? If you guys personally have experience in the market or you know of others, I'd love to talk to you or the people you know just to get more feedback and continue building the trading posts in the best it can be. Excellent. Great job. Thank you.